Hello everyone, this is NS Alters, and today I'll be showing you how I painted this Elspeth Sons Champion border extension altar. So the first step here is I'm adding a dark line around the frame of the card with a very thin sharpie. Uh, now I'm doing this because on most magic cards, but white cards especially, the frames don't really have a shadow on the right half of the card. Uh, which makes the final step where you're scraping off excess paint a little difficult because you don't always know exactly when to stop. And adding this black line beforehand really helps it have a professional finished feel. So once we're done adding in the Sharpie lines, then we're doing a neutral gray background. And then once that dries, we're adding in some very generic background color matching. So always using many watered down layers uh, we kind of just build it up as we go. So starting off with the blue of the sky. And then once that's generically there, I started working out where the clouds are going to go. And then you'll see I come back with more blue and add a few more thin layers. And then I go back to the clouds. Every time it adds a little more depth and detail to the painting. Working in thin layers like that also just kind of helps the colors blend nicer. And gives you more of a sense of, uh, you know, 3D depth. Painting the rocks in the background was a little interesting because um, you'll notice that they're actually quite purple. Uh, so mixing in with some purples, grays, blues, blacks, uh, getting that color matching just right. And I love painting in texture on rocks because you can kind of get creative and have fun with it. I noticed that the rocks felt a little desaturated and that's because I had missed there's actually a little bit of yellow in them too. So I just brought in that yellow to brighten them up. Now painting the grass here, you'll notice at first I struggled to get the right color. And that's because, uh, again, there's this yellow that I didn't quite realize was in it. So uh, that's the thing though, just always painting small, small layers, building it up until you can get just the right match. The water itself, again, a very fun place to do because you got lots of texture there to play with. Starting off with a really dark blue background, almost black in some areas and then coming over with just the tiniest amount of white, scraping it over to make those curls and ripples, and then you get some really fine lines that feel organic. Now here I'm using my 10-0 brush and a really dark green to add in the tips of the trees off the edge of the cliff, and using the same 10-0 brush to add in the details for the temple on the side, yellow roofs and teal columns. Now, unfortunately, filming this next section, my phone overheated and the video was lost. So what I'm showing you here is just what I did. So the tips of the mountain there have some nice striations of the layers of rock there. And then I used the same technique as before to paint out the temple at the summit. And then we worked on the steps to the right of the card. Uh, got the little trees in there, just some simple color matching and having fun with the shape of the coastline as well. The next part that I worked on was the cobble on the pathway. And I actually painted this twice. The first pass over, I made it perfectly parallel with the original bricks on the left, but I felt that actually looked really bad. I repainted it, I added a bit of an angle to the bricks, and that sort of made it sort of feel a bit more wide angle or like the pathway has a curve to it. And it made the art feel more organic. Uh, and I think had a better sense the second time around, so I'm happy with how that came out. The last step here, I'm just blending down some blacks on the bottom, and I decided to leave Eric Deschamps' name in the art, because he's just fantastic. Now here you can see I'm color matching to the stone, and then pulling that color outwards, adding a little bit of texture and detail using some browns as well, just to keep it warm. And then the last step, I'm just painting in a bit of details, I even paint in the shadows a bit of an edge so that you can see where the pathway would start, and then I darken it with some blacks again. Now I realize that I never finished painting her weapon, so here we are just color matching to the blade and the shadows. I'm using my 10-0 brush for this to really make those fine lines come through nice and clear, blending in the details, the texture, the reflections, and then at the very end just scraping off the edges so that it's nice and straight. The last step is just cleaning up the edges of the frame with my scraping tool. And this is where that black line from the start really comes in and helps you keep the edges looking nice and crisp. Sign the card, and we're done. And there it is. One Elspeth Sons Champion. 
200,000 soldier tokens are ready, with a million more on the way. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Or, if you'd like to see me alter a specific card, please leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.